Okay, now Tom Manuel from the Jazz Loft Foundation is going to present Gene with an award. Yeah, man. Should I get up? No, you should stay seated. You should stay seated. So, uh, thank you for letting a cornet player into a room of guitar players. Uh, <laughs> first of all. Uh, but I know a lot of you don't know me, so my, my name's Tom Annual, and I run the Jazz Loft in Stony Brook, which is on the North Shore of Long Island. We're one of only five jazz museums in the U.S. I wish that was not the case, and hopefully we'll have many more as the years go on. But we're just really honored to have a 7,000 square foot museum with over 28, I think 29 now, collections of some of the greatest jazz musicians that have ever lived. People like Oliver Nelson and Mill Tinton, Louis Jordan, Arthur Prysock, Bucky Pizzarelli. We have a performance space uh, that presents over 160 shows a year with three big bands in residence. We have a weekly jam session. And the most exciting part that I'm proud about is our education program. We have Loft School of Jazz for young middle school and high school kids. And I'm the endowed artist in residence at Stony Brook University. And all of our jazz department events happen uh, in collaboration with the Jazz Loft. And I bring that up because what's so inspiring for our students is when they're there learning jazz, to be listening to, say, Oliver Nelson in a room that has his saxophone and the manuscript to Stolen Moments or to be talking about how to voice a guitar chord, right? And there's Bucky Pizzarelli's guitar and photos of him playing with guys like this and Betty Goodman and everyone else. Um, and so we have a Legend of Jazz Award that we give every year. And we give this out at our annual Monteleone Art of the Guitar Festival, which is happening this weekend. And we were hoping to have Gene last year. He was unable to make it. And so we're bringing the award to him. Yeah. And Gene, I just want to tell you, man, well, even though I'm not a guitar player, thank you for all the inspir inspiring music. And thank you for all the young people that have come up after you that are still trying to figure out what you did and being inspired to um, you know, blaze their trail. And there's a wonderful little line at the bottom of this award. It's a quote by Milt Hinton. And it says, you don't have to be loud to be heard. If you're good enough, people make it their business to listen. So Gene, thank you.